Right. So uh, the next theory part is forming a quadratic equation with given roots. So in this case, uh, in early cases, we uh, uh, we we learn that uh, given a quadratic equation, we, we th there are three methods that we can use uh, to uh, get the solutions of uh, the quadratic equations. Next, we look into uh, the nature of uh, solutions uh, of a quadratic equation, whether they are real, coincident, real, distinct, or non-real. Right? The kota api ekim balua ganang hadan ne it was a quadratic equation that was going from quadratic equation to solutions or describing the nature of the solutions based on the quadratic equation. Right? So that was earlier what we looked into this x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. How do we go from this to x equal let's say uh, Two, two uh, solutions in general we uh, we call them alpha and beta o x equal beta right make it our value then what are the nature alpha and beta two they, uh, whether there are two distinct values or just coincident or they are non-real make them up calling the value then up the anime value in this video, we can go from this to this. Given solutions, what is the corresponding differential equation? Is there a unique differential equation? Uh, sorry, not the differential equation. Uh, going from uh, the solutions to the quadratic equation. Is there a unique quadratic equation? Or there are many quadratic equations uh, for the same solutions. At the time, unique unique Quadratic solutions, same quadratic solutions, the inner quadratic uh, equations, good up the end of the intuition. The main way of it, a bit of a case at tower. Then, a bit of a solutions, they got we give two solutions alpha or beta. They ask us to find the quadratic, quadratic uh, equation, quadratic equation which satisfies this. So, quadratic equations comes from quadratic functions. Ekama de equals zero kilo dini with it. There are quadratic functions kochara thi yinna pulla. May then nagin yana quadratic functions there can be infinitely many quadratic functions. Like this. Or oh, like this. You can see there are infinitely many. Not only this, we can have it other way as well. Infinitely many possibilities. Yeah. But basically, we're going to look at uh, the uh, one of the basic quadratic equation. Uh, the quadratic equation, uh, infinitely possibilities in the home of the Right. So uh, uh, let's start with let's start with a simple example. X squared. Simple example. So x squared plus three x plus two equals zero. How did we solve this? We could we were able to factorize this. Now we can use this factorization method to go from solutions to part equation x plus 2 x plus 1 equals 0 then we said that x plus 2 equals 0 o oh, x plus 1 equals 0 which means x equal minus 2 o oh, x equal minus 1 now we're gonna go from this to this we're gonna reverse this Right. So let's say this is alpha and beta. It was a little step over the mea me pathogenia. It becomes minus alpha. 
minus beta. So, we will get product of the zero way. Minus alpha minus beta. E to pass the same thing. E to pass the same thing. Make expand the same thing. Right. So, uh, let's start from here and get to the final answer. तर में दिन में दिन नया ताले ओगल आंटा clear के लोग में ही तो ना वाह main step पे हमें लाम पे ना में दिन तमाय है so given roots alpha and beta you should be able to write this step directly given with given roots alpha and beta if the roots are alpha and beta you should be able to write this quadratic Yes, like this. So now we can expand then. X squared minus beta x minus alpha x plus alpha beta. We have x uh, two, uh, in two places. So we combine them. Minus alpha plus beta alpha beta equals equal. So this is the quadratic equation corresponding to the given roots. But I said that there are infinitely many quadratic uh, functions. The Mayagi quadratic function like Mayagi. This must be the quadratic function. What if I multiply this by a constant? k k ke la constant ke multiply karo tar k x squared k times this and k times this that means the same thing me patta k wali multiply karo me at zero wenna ba kisi wen sak punne k wali multiply karama ante k wali ngai divide karanna pula divide karala metenna ganna pula ta kota e quadratic equations like this can also be converted to this format so let's say so uh, let's write it like this All right so let's write this step k x squared minus k times alpha plus beta x plus k alpha beta equals zero may give me then tower k will in divide color we divide this whole thing by k and we get to this step same thing may have solutions one Alpha and beta. So this is why there are infinitely many possibilities. So uh, now uh, what we can do is that uh, we don't need this one. These are the steps necessary to get to this point. So let's look at an example. A form a quadratic equation whose roots are whose roots are minus 3 and plus 4 roots are minus 3 and plus 4 so solution x minus 1 root negative 3 x minus 4 equals 0. This is x plus 3. Right? Next we can write x plus 3 x minus 4. So if you are confident en enough, you can just write this step directly. So we get x squared plus 3 x minus 4 that leaves you minus x minus 12 equals 0. This is the quadratic equation corresponding to actually one of the many quadratic equations corresponding to this these two roots next look at another example for whose roots are they they can be uh, uh, symbolic uh, symbols rather than numericals here like this Suppose alpha squared 
and beta squared. These are the roots. Come again. Same way, x minus one roots, x minus the other root. Other root is beta squared equals zero. Again, x squared minus alpha squared plus beta squared x plus alpha squared b squared c. So if we know this one, we can directly get to this. How? If these are the given roots, may given roots now alpha and beta now. alpha and beta root sticker quadratic equation will be x square liver minus them roots will sum make sum of the roots times x plus product of the roots very last and sum of the roots product of the roots very easy the main format take always the other now may have a step by step we are going to know now Kelly Masika down to the world A third example form a quadratic equation whose roots are 1 over alpha and 1 over beta. Up then directly the x squared liver negative liver sum make 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta x plus product take 1 over alpha into 1 over beta that is just 1 over alpha beta equal 0. अब रे मेरे तावा विधि हर लिया ना पुलवा मगर मैं तो ना दी कॉमन डिन में इट गान ना पुलवा सो एक्स क्वार्ट माइनस अल्फा प्लस बीटा ओवर अल्फा टाइम्स बीटा एक्स प्लस वन ओवर अल्फा बीटा इक्वल सीरो नेक्स्ट वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई दिस होल थिंग बाय अल्फा बीटा वी गेट अल्फा बीटा एक्स क्वार्ट माइनस तो समान प्रश्न वाले दिस शो दैट की लकी आना पुलवां शो दैट द क्वार्ट क्वार्टिक इक्वेशन करेस्पोंडिंग टू दिस टू रूट्स दिस तो लोगों लोग में तो नहीं नाम तल हारी आने ताव स्टेप्स टिक आके आने की नहीं ला में का पेन नाम बेर हारे में ऐसी आप एक गाना हादर दिबाल हम क्वार्टिक इक्वेशन ने का रूट्स दी ला आंसर्स गाने किए रहा ये वाले वापी आंसर करों एक करने का भी वी हैव टू लुक इनटू द अदर पार्ट वेयर इट कनेक्स कनेक्स द कनेक्स सॉल्यूशंस सॉल्यूशंस टू कोइफिशिएंट ऑफ द क्वार्टिक इक्वेशन एक अभी वाला रिलेशनशिप पे कर टू द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द सॉल्यूशंस एंड द कोइफिशिएंट ऑफ क्वार्टिक � Right, so the relations between roots and coefficient of quadratic equation. So here we are going to compare uh, the roots when given with the coefficient of the general form of a quadratic equation. General format again, then on a format take the kadabe, katagare discriminants, okkwamanagare general format again. So we are going to use that general form. Uh, to get a connection or the, uh, the relations between the roots and the quadratic equation. Now compare this, compare this with ax squared plus bx plus c equals c. So make a compare karadi body prashnati, you know, x squared or coefficient like 1. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to divide this whole thing by A. Where A is not T equal to definitely A zero over the quadratic equation equivalent. Now we can compare. So uh, the coefficient of is, uh, coefficient of x squared is 1 in both cases. When you compare these two, we get these relations. May quadratic equation then up to may equation a case solutions on alpha and beta. A equation a case solution on alpha beta. If alpha and beta are the solution of this quadratic equation, right? And based on these solutions, we converted to uh, the, uh, the quadratic equation, the original quadratic equation. So these two must be equal. 
මේ දෙන්නම ඊක්වල් වෙන්න ඕනේ හරිද අයි අපි ඒ වලින් ඩිවයිඩ් කරන්නේ මෙතන යුනික් කරගන්න නැත්තම් there are infinite possibilities to get rid of it we divide this by a දැන් එතන මේ දෙන්න යුනික් නැත්තම් infinite possibilities තියෙනවා so here we get minus alpha plus beta equal b over a alpha beta equal c over a so in general when we write this we put negative sign here we put this negative sign there so alpha plus beta equal minus b over a alpha times beta c over a what is alpha plus beta this is just sum of roots this is products product of roots this is equal to minus what is b b was coefficient of x what is a coefficient of x square here also what is c c is just the constant a is coefficient of x square right so for uh, core equations whose coefficient of x squared is just 1 may a one noun sum of roots equal to minus b and product of roots is equal to c in most general case sum of the roots are equal to minus b over a product of the roots are equal to c over a but may a very important this is very important making effective with the ganan in a one volume of quadratic equation like a deal alpha alpha plus beta alpha times beta for an away quadratic equation in hand three coefficients are no gun either pass a quadratic equation like a form current a alpha beta will a function like up with here to the inner solutions right up a gun and other the year value then confusing me for one Now let's do a simple uh, question on this. Right. So uh, this is an example. The roots of the equation 2x squared plus 8x plus 4 equal to zero are alpha and beta. Uh, let's make this uh, more interesting. Let's just change this. Uh, let's just say. Uh, P Q R. एक बार में वगैरह कराम होना. Alpha and beta. Find the value of alpha squared plus beta squared, alpha cube plus beta cube. These are expressions based on the roots of the given equation. हाँ. तर roots root में वगैरह equations पर आती. आप इतने थाने थाने वाले में solutions कर सकते हैं करना वास्तव में है. right api consider karanna one uh, together right uh, summation of the roots and the product of the roots eka paavich karala menna me wage expressions apita hoyanna puluwa lazy eka api e wage lazy krama tikak api class ekedi katha karala the first thing you do find the values of the these in terms of p q and r uh, let's write that down value of these in terms of p q and r so what is the first thing you do the first thing you do is find the value of alpha plus beta and alpha into beta make a value ham gade na p wali divide karna ha so divide this x square plus q divided by p x Ajay, we we just we don't need that. We know uh, from the earlier alpha plus beta, alpha plus beta 
must be equal to coefficient of x so negative coefficient of x which is q divided by p coefficient of x square and we know that alpha into beta must be coefficient uh, constant divided by coefficient of x square which is equal to p mixture api da the meda ga pavichu kala api expressions la value make for so the first thing now when whenever we have alpha plus beta we can replace it by q and p whenever we have alpha into beta we can replace it by r over p so we don't have alpha plus beta here we have alpha square plus beta square so how do we make it so we going to use binomial expansion if there were two alpha beta plus two alpha beta we can combine it so this is what i'm going to do beta square plus 2 alpha beta then i'm going to deduct the same amount right so this combine can be written as alpha plus beta whole thing square ekama deni minus 2 alpha beta ah what have we done here so we have represented this in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha into beta now alpha plus beta is minus q by p whole thing squared minus 2 times alpha into b is r divided by p so the final answer will be uh, q squared here we get p squared i'm going to write p squared there So we have negative two. Since we have p only one p there, we have put p r. So this is the expression, the value of the expression. Next one. Okay. So next one. We like to come to the end. B Q. Cube bahama. This is sum of two cubes. Sum of two cubes. How did we deal with that? Sum of two cubes can be factorized. Alpha plus beta. We have learned this. Alpha squared minus alpha beta plus beta squared. Maya hari. We know this. But these two addition we don't know. This we don't know. Ah. But we first. Found it at a. Under a, we found the value of a alpha squared plus beta squared. This was q squared minus two p r over p squared. So uh, now, therefore, we can just directly replace them. Here, alpha plus beta is just negative q by p. Then, if I combine these two. I get q squared minus 2 p r over p squared, and here we have minus alpha beta. Alpha beta was r over p. Right. So negative q over p. Taking the common denominator, I get q squared minus 2 p r. And also we get a P R there, so this becomes three P R. So I don't like to keep any negative signs in front of them, so I'm going to put this inside, which gives me Q O P. Now these two together I get P Q, and this changes three P R minus Q square. Right. Okay, so that's the end of uh, this example, and we'll do uh, more examples in in the class. So thank you for watching.